Evening. Evening. Glad to be back again. Missed a couple of weeks ago. Good to be back. I'm going to do a few new pieces for you tonight. This first one was written um, a few weeks ago, uh, just before Leonard Cohen Day. And uh, it's actually taken from uh, people's stories on, on videos and on YouTube that uh, people were remembering Leonard Cohen and, you know, commenting on songs and things like that. So these are all real things and real people's memories. It's called Remembering Leonard Cohen. We're all part of history, as Janice was when she connected the call at the Royal Court Hotel. His wistful voice each time he rang had a way of making our heart sore. We select our story and people recall and passion, like Ravna, suicidal Ravna, whose best friend left her alone. It was cold in December. Not four, but two in the morning. Crying and hopeless and pop stuff on the radio, but the blue raincoat came by and took her away, took away her melancholy. She cried until she could cry no more and saw the beauty in the world again. Three modern tenors, Cohen, Waits and Cave. Today it's the former, the others another day. Some say depressing, to the rest it's inspiring, voice never climbing too high more than a whisper. Filthy and haggard, he inspired one to fly, only to find a hotel with 900 windows and trees where doves came to die, saying anything, anything, leaving aching in my thighs. The Rolling Stones painted it black and L.C. stubs out his cigarette lit by a million candles. You want it darker? We thought he was mortal. But Diane, his hummingbird friend, dreamt of a meeting in a forest, leaving her and the path at the end, solidifying words to the deepest recesses of those who feel providing understanding for those who understand. Leonard Cohen, I'm your man. Dance me to the beauty with a burning violin. Dance me through the panic till I'm gathered safe within. Touch me with your naked hand or touch me with your glove. Dance me to the end of love. Right, this next one is new as well. Um, yeah, it's called Last Christmas. And it's an answer to, oh, uh, this Christmas, I suppose. Come, child, and give me a hug. Come, child, sit down in the rug, and come, child, open the presents I've got for you. The ones under the tree, beside all the others and mind the envelopes with the vouchers inside and sealed with a lick and a kiss because you're special to me. Come child, your dad will be in soon from the bar, a Christmas day drink with his friends. We'll greet him with joy when he comes through the door. Come child, your mum will do a great spread, turkey and all the trimmings and special homemade garlic bread. Come, child, sit next to me at the table and come, child, tell me stories of what you like in your school and your new friends. Come, child, hide behind me when your uncle arrives with his kids. You'll not know where you are, so well you'll be hid. Come, child, play with your cousins. It's been a year since they've been here. Their flight from their home in Spain was delayed because of the rain arriving yesterday instead of before. Come child, help me blow up balloons. My breath, breathing, this it's not how it was. I'll start, you finish, and I will cut the string and tie it to the end. 
Come child, we will watch Christmas movies together. Die hard and the one, the one about the big elf. We will gasp at one and laugh at the other. Come child, go and get a drink for your brother. When his taxi drops him after, after his work. Come child, we'll play games. Pass the parcel is a favourite of mine. Come child, put on some music. Seasonal songs please. A request. Yeah, you know my favourite. Wham is one of the best. We'll sing along together. Last Christmas I gave you my heart, but the very next day you gave it away. This year, to save me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. Come child, let's have a special family Christmas get together. It's been a tough year. Come child, we deserve it. And after all, and all said and done, and after all this party is over, it could well be my last Christmas, or yours. Okay, this one is, um, yeah, it's about me. And it's called Closed Captions English Standard. I wear hearing aids and I'm what they call profoundly deaf. I hear, but sometimes I have difficulty picking out the actual words that people are saying. I find it hard sometimes to catch all the words that my fellow poets are saying when they do their reading. I wish the world came with subtitles. And it's bad in my taxi with masks and screen between me and my passengers to get them to speak clearly and give me their destination. I wish the world came with subtitles. Watching TV, it's great. The programs have closed captions, but I hate it when they don't. Or like some on-demand shows don't. Or when the words are behind the actual audio, behind the actual audio. I wish the world came with subtitles. In this constantly off, masked off world, concessions are made for many, but city centres are blocked off for disabled people and deaf people can get out. But we can't see what you are saying. I wish the world came with subtitles. Yet I play my music too loud, my radio goes on too loud, my podcasts go on too loud. I'm a bit too proud if you ask me to turn it down. I don't know. I don't realise. I can't be sure how it sounds to you. I know how it sounds to me. Loud. But not too. I wish the world gave me subtitles. Hearing aids aren't perfect. They don't make things normal. They help. I'm not ignoring you. Your words are important to me. Very important. It's just... just well, I can't explain, which is strange for one who uses words to make a point, tell a story, let you know I'm sorry. I wish the world came with subtitles. Now, I wasn't born this way. It's hereditary. My grandma on my father's side, and then my, fa then my dad, but he never went and seen about it. Then me, now my daughter. My grandma's aid was as big and hung in a strap and a bra beneath the top and it squeaked feedback when you went too close. You had to speak into the box at times to be heard. In a world with four subtitles. I do sometimes enjoy the silence, switching mine off or taking them out and being alone in my head. Enjoy the silence. Or being at one with me. But then... I still need to know when I get shouted down for tea. And yes, I realise I should check to see if the volume on my phone is up. Wouldn't it be great if the world came with subtitles? I mean, floating in the air. Words destined only for the people they are meant for. Or flick an imaginary switch and you can see everybody's words. Floating, soaring, shouting, swearing, counting, caring. Perfect for finding words for found poems. The silence of constant chatter in a world where words do matter. Choose your font. 
choose your language, hit translate, was that? Ah, too late. Your word escaped in the breeze, the hide amongst the trees. A world, not perfect, but with subtitles. Okay, I'm going to do uh, one more now. Um, it's a really old piece, I think. Uh, and it's called uh, I'd Rather Play for England. I've seen the way you treat your men with disdain and lack of respect. You stay aloof from all their smiles and make them feel like rejects. I've seen the state your lovers leave, not looking happy yet. I'd rather play for England than spend a night with you. I'd rather walk a thousand miles than be party to your fateful wiles. I'd rather be buried in my head in the sand than believe what you say is true. I've seen the way your friends turn out. That's no way for a human to behave. Leaving them quivering nervous wrecks as idolised as slaves. I want to live for a long, long time, not end up in a mental grave. I'd rather play for England than end up in your book. I'd rather vote conservative than receive a second look. I'd rather live in a right-wing state than wait for you to bring me down. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.